everybody, it's a crazy Van Gogh I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So we're continuing straight into episode two of Hawkeye, um, Hide and Seek. I forgot to say the title of the other one, which was Never Meet Heroes. Never Meet Your Heroes. Um, but we're going to continue with episode two now. No need for introductions. Let's jump straight into it. There's no way you're connected to the suit whatsoever. That's right. I need you to be sure. I am. Certain. Yes. The transfers must have followed you from the auction to where I found you. Did you stop anywhere before that? I just dropped off the dog. Oh, yeah. And my name's on the buzzer. Oh, yes, Glenn! <laughs> See, you be confident, you grab stuff, and you go in. He's such a dad, I love it. Damn, someone's got the cert. <laughs> Kitty. I'll be back now. I can hear you. Uh, to be clear, not because I want you, it's just because I need you. Oh. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Not too hard to tell. I know, I know. Mommy, mommy, a superhero. Oh, that's such an interesting, like, idea. Like, because even you know, he's human and he's wearing hearing aids, and then they're showing all like the flashbacks. Like, that's so true because, like, Clint Barton is human. Like. And, like, you know, like, in superhero movies and, like, in shows and stuff, they never show, like, the effects of what can happen. And the fact that they put that in, I love that. That's such a cute detail. But also just, like, important, because, like, these are, like, the effects that happen to someone who's in the business of being a hero. Love it. A fire in your apartment last night. I can explain. It, can we talk without the interloper? No, no, it makes perfect sense that she would be hostile. She likely feels displaced by you. She's testing on your dynamic. She both desires my approval, yet wants to set firm boundaries. She feels threatened by me, and you know what? I can understand why. The boy? Saddle. I bought a book about being a step dad. He looks like uh, the most punchable face ever. <laughs> That's what you live by. <laughs> I won't lie, I've seen these before, these festivals. Oh my god, I love this! <laughs> nah, dude. And I fought Thanos. <laughs> and I fought Thanos? <laughs> She should just tell her what she's trying to prove. Don't you think it's a little strange? <laughs> Sorry for scaring you into telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like a drink, Don? The mother is an alcoholic. She's surviving on alcohol. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think he has something to do with the murder. Or maybe some. Oh, uh, yeah, he's definitely. I was about to say someone's framing him, but I don't think so. I'm sorry. Clint Barton can't take your call right now. Oh, because. That's so cool, actually. I wasn't, I didn't realize that sort of clicked just then. Because of her mother's company, it's a security company, so she can track phone calls, she can track all that stuff real quick and find out where, oh my god, that is so brilliant. I love that little touch. That's awesome. No idea. Come on! We're escaping this up! Who are you talking about? <laughs> oh. 
great superhero landing. Oh! credits area is there anything more yeah because echo is kingpin's daughter i'm pretty sure hold on hold on hold on hold on hold up yeah so that's the daughter of kingpin that makes me excited now because yeah i was like oh yeah for a second i didn't know who she was because obviously like her look is very distinctive but at the same time i was like wait because there were like not rumors but i think it was confirmed obviously that echo was gonna be in the show oh okay cool i like that I was surprised by this episode. This is good. Okay, we're going to analyze both episodes. So quickly to go back to episode one. Fantastic intro to the show. It already sets the vibe. Because in a way, it's also setting us into the vibe of Christmas. I completely forgot that it's full on like Christmas in New York sort of vibe. Like that is like, dude, I'm, as you guys know, if you're on the channel for long, I love Christmas. So this is like the perfect way for me to jump into Christmas. I love it. Um, But yeah, the vibe already, I'm loving it. Like this spy crime and like sneaking around sort of thing. Like with Kate Bishop, it's so good. And obviously with Hawkeye, um, Clint, it's so good. I love it so much already. I, w I honestly didn't think I would enjoy the show, but already I'm in love with it. Like this is like, sort of reminds me a little bit of like Home Alone, those sort of movies love it already um and obviously like just seeing clint again and obviously like sort of delving more into his psyche and more of his character is very interesting because again we don't get much of that and i love it this is already it's getting very interesting for him and just like again like sort of kate already like psychoanalyzing him saying like you know you have so many layers to you like yes you have a sincerity to you but you need to be more open like they don't want sort of like this the the ceremony of heroes anymore they just want a sincere hero at the forefront of whatever the next avengers is or even just superheroes in general they want sincerity especially post the snap and i love that also may i say uh i was worried because like Haley stein i think steinfeld i think that's her, her name um but she's a beautiful like singer and also i've seen her in a couple of films but she's been all right and even as kate bishop i was worried i was like you have the look of kate bishop but can you be kate bishop and already she's incredible like in that first episode where she's back in her hotel and she's full-on like trying to look after the dog and trying to grab stuff that scene was absolute like pure comedy that was so good and i don't like comedy but like that was really funny and i loved that that was like yeah you want something okay okay like i love that so much it's very like all those little like characteristics like that are like sort of like they they like connected to a character i love that and she she drew that out so well um, and she just, yeah, already, I really like her as a character, um, and you can tell, like, she's not very used to, like, well, I guess she's not very open with what she talks about, she's sort of, like, very secretive in terms of, like, very, like, in interrogating, but also even when she's talking to her mum, she's always, like, sidelining, like, what she's trying to say and stuff like that, and I like that, it shows that she also has a lot of layers as a character, but also just as a person, um, post, obviously, her dad dying, her mum going everything through everything and then obviously her mum sort of like not being open with her which is a, not manipulative but it's very cruel I don't really like the mum at the moment at the beginning I was like oh yeah she's okay but I have issues with her oh just because of some of the stuff but also Vera is such an incredible actress she's so beautiful she never ages she's so good um but I'm loving her already as well as the mum so she's cool I don't know the actor who's playing the stepdad or the to be stepdad um but he's cool and he's annoying he's got the most punchable face ever I want to punch him so bad but obviously it seems like he does have something to do with the death of Ahmad um obviously with the candy and everything and just like you know it seems like like I feel like it's aiming towards him but I feel like it's gonna be someone else um already that's a great like introduction into that first two episodes great intro to it also this mafia is so funny like I love how try hard they are especially that one guy with like the full beard he's like you know we're interrogating you now you're supposed to not talk it's oh it's so good I love that sort of stuff it's not cringy either like I love it especially because 
Uh, Jeremy Renner has a, I don't know what the what like how he does it, but the way he delivers his lines is just so blunt that it's great against the cringiness of what like what's supposed to be cringy. It's great. Like I love that. Again, the comedy is really great. The music is great. I love it so much because it's a mixture. You can hear like these strings of like jazz and like sort of like. That old, like, old-time Christmas albums that you get with the big orchestra and stuff like that. But then you also get, like, the spy. You've got, like, the spy feel to it. Like, you get, like, the really slow, like, drawn-out jazz. I love it so much. It's like, this is my favourite already. I'm loving it so much already. It's a little bit weird how much I love it already, but it's great. Um, and again, I was sort of surprised that we got two episodes already, because we've got six episodes all together. So... I'm guessing because they also want to fit in, obviously, Boba Fett before the end of the year. So they were like, okay, two episodes this week, and then every other week we got to squish it in before Boba Fett. Oh god, the week Boba Fett comes out? God, it's going to be such a busy, <laughs> busy week. But anyway, this show already is great. And also, I love the fact that Echo was already introduced. Again, she's Kingpin's daughter. So there is the possibility. I'm not sure if we will get Kingpin in the show, but it would be great for her to sort of slip in like, you know, my dad is like the head of a mafia or whatever. Like, it would be really cool. Oh, okay, sorry. I was just replying to Mitch because even like at the end, it was a little bit confusing. I think a lot of people, like if they don't know the comics or if they haven't like really kept up with like sort of like the news about Hawkeye, I think they will be a little bit confused with who that is at the end. Of course, it being Echo. Um, also, the red light. Ah, like, oh god, dude, like you don't understand how much I love Daredevil, um, obviously to my channel. Um, I didn't get to react to it on my channel when it came out, also because I didn't have Netflix and only now I can sort of use Netflix now, so I can watch it. Um, but, yeah, I really want- dude, I've said this in my Spider-Man reactions and, like, I really, really, really want there to be another Daredevil show. Like, just one final season, like, one more, with just all the characters that were there, and just, oh, it would be so awesome to have that, just one time. Um, and just also Kingpin, like, Vincent, who plays Kingpin, is, mwah, like, star, like, um, casting. So good. So to have him maybe introduced into this show or or like brought back into daredevil like oh and even the echo show's coming too i completely forgot that's coming too so that would be great to explore it there as well oh that would be just yeah it's a dream but yeah all together this show already has me hooked um and I'm super excited to see where the story goes next. Um, well, obviously, we're going to deal with the Mafia. We're going to see Echo, obviously. I'm wondering how that's all going to go down. It's going to be interesting. And again, like, this is sort of like the street-level Marvel Avenger or, like, superhero. Sort of like with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, a little bit. Like, we saw, like, like a lot of, like, the street sort of thing. And same with this one. And and just having that feel to it as well. Like, you, you see, like, all these side streets, these alleyways, and just... Yeah, the cinematography as well, so good. It's very unique. And especially that whole, like, medieval carnival. I loved that part. That was so good. And just, I love how they made it, like, sort of, like, very much like a superhero, like... Fe like, it reminded me a little bit of, like, Lord of the Rings. Like, battlefield, slowing down, like, doing the all the, like, cool sword tricks and stuff, but with fake swords. I loved it so much. Sort of, like, the canniness of it made me laugh, and just, I loved it already. Like, I didn't think I'd laugh this much as a show as this one, but it was great. This is sort of, like, what happened with WandaVision. Like, it, with WandaVision, I was, like, terrified of not liking it, because I knew it was going to be heavy on the comedy, but... It was great. It was That show was really good too. But this show, I'm already loving it and I cannot wait for more episodes. I need to check if there's going to be another episode because I got duked when, um, what was it, Bad Batch came out and then on, sun on Friday I was like, oh yeah, there's no episode. Found out three hours later that there was an episode. So I got to make sure that there's not going to be another episode this week. Um, but I am so excited because it's just, again... This is great, and I'm loving it already. And leave your comments down below. Are you guys enjoying the show already? Let me know. What are your opinions? What are your theories for the show? 
Obviously, this, again, isn't very heavy-handed as much as One Division was. Falcon a little bit, but not much. Um, I'm trying to think. Loki, yeah, definitely not like Loki. But, um, yeah, I mean, give me your theories and your thoughts so far. I'm enjoying it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Pangirl, out. Woo!